we have chickens at our house. I say we have chicken. <laughs> you know, the kind of chicken. In our backyard, yeah. My, my daughter decided she wanted chickens. So she went, she did everything. She took the entire expense herself. She got chickens. I don't know where she got chickens, but she got chi- little baby chickens, you know. And we've had them for a couple of weeks now. And uh, and she built a, a uh, chicken coop. I guess that's the expression. And so it's out on our deck right now. It's got the light. And it's got all the chicken accoutrements that go with it. And actually, I learned something. I have to tell you this. I learned something very interesting. I learned it from my daughter. And again, you know, having grown up as a suburban Philadelphia boy, I never really dealt with farm animals or anything like that. So I didn't know. So I didn't. Okay, this is going to be really embarrassing. But I didn't know how a chicken egg is fertilized. Well, because I thought that, you know, you kind of have the... You have the rooster there, and I thought the rooster and the chicken kind of made the hibbity-dibbity, you know, and, <laughs> and then, then you get an egg. But no, apparently I, it's, all, it's all from the from the female, from the chicken. I didn't know. I know if you're laughing at me right now, it's okay. I didn't know this. I didn't, find, I didn't know that somehow the, the chicken lays the egg, and then it gets fertilized all by itself by the... The chicken sitting on it, keeping it warm and everything, and then it fertilizes, and then pop out comes. I mean, the, the, you have no need for the rooster, for the man, other than to protect them, I guess, or to be the boss of the chicken house. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm glad the human race is not like this because the the women suddenly discovered they didn't need us, man. We would be out in the street <laughs> tomorrow morning <laughs> if they didn't need us for procreation. <laughs> so I did. Look at it. I got the birds and the bees talk from my daughter. Imagine that. That was that was quite amazing. So anyway, there you go. I learned a little something over the over the past few days. Now I got somebody on line one here. Hi the wave. Hey, you're absolutely wrong about those chicks. What? What do tell have, me Do you have a rooster with your chicks? I don't, you don't I don't know because she said we don't know whether it's male or female until they get older. Okay. Because when you have a rooster, what you will see is they will jump on the back of the hens and fertilize those eggs. Now, a chicken can have can lay an egg without a rooster, but it cannot be fertilized unless you have a rooster to do that job. Okay, let me ask you, and again, without being too graphic, does the rooster fertilize the egg in the normal way that we know of? Yeah, pretty much, because if you have a rooster in with your hands, they will sometimes tear up the backs of your hands. Okay. By, like, getting on them. So they're doing it the normal way. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if the egg is already formed when they fertilize it or not. I'm not really sure about that, but I know you do have to have a rooster to have a baby chick. Really? <laughs> okay, so I got some wrong information from my daughter. <laughs> um, if, if you get a rooster, you can kind of watch them, but be aware that they will sometimes tear up your chickens, your hands. All right. You know. I'll, 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 in, the, in their passion, I suppose, you know. But and, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes they'll pull out their neck feathers, and then they're, they're, they have those... those um, claws, you know, and they'll kind of pull out all the feathers on their back sometimes. Wow. So, to summarize, you do need a rooster to fertilize the chicken egg. Yes, you do. Okay. Wow. Well, I've I've been so educated today. I, I can't... See, again, this is a talk that somebody should have had with me a long time ago, but I never had to deal with chickens when I was a young man, so, you know, that, that's the way that goes. But Hey, thank you for the info. I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Have a great day now. You have a good day, too. Start your day with Kevin Hilly and The Wave Wake Up. Weekday mornings on 101.9 The Wave.